Today is Mother's Day. Also, yesterday, I bought the Mavic Air, and I promised all of you that I would compare the Mavic Air to a very expensive drone, the DJI Inspire. So, let's do that today. But first, let's test out the Active Track. I'm gonna walk to Mum's house right now with all of my gear and her Mother's Day presents, and the drone is gonna follow me by itself. Wow, these chairs are absolutely mental and I've never sat at this table before. Right, guys, this is the drone portion. Little comparison between the new DJI Mavic Air drone, which I bought yesterday to, uh, to do YouTube videos with. And uh, this is the little dinky controller that comes with it. It has two little aerials that go up like that and two little things that come down like that. And then your, uh, your phone clips in there, it comes with all the cables. These are detachable, so it makes the controller even smaller. It's this compact. And I'm gonna be pairing this. I'm gonna be comparing this drone, the Mavic Air, to the DJI Inspire 1 version 2. Now this is a professional filmmaking drone. I've had this for a long time. And I told you guys yesterday my reason behind buying the Mavic Air was because this thing is too big to carry around and it's too much of a faff and a pain to set up. I'm actually gonna take the battery out of this and stick it on top of the radiator because I always get the, the battery's too cold to take off warning every time I take this thing off. Super, super annoying. So, uh, part one of my review, ease of use. So guys, to make this work, what I'm gonna do is put a timer up in that top corner. Bang, zero, zero. And I'm gonna do a little time lapse of me setting up the DJI Spark until I can get it so its rotors are spinning and it's ready to take off. Guys, start the timer in three, two, one. Stop. Rotor spinning, there's the timer for that one. Let's try and beat it with the Inspire. Right guys, same thing, here is the Inspire. Three, two, one. Stop the timer, there we go. Which one won? Well, the tally's up here. I think that's one to the air. Oh God, how do you stop this thing? Oh God. Now guys, obviously, the Mavic Air wins in the form factor department because, well, that's an Inspire and, and, and that's a Mavic Air. Um, yeah. Let's just move to the visual quality. Now luckily today, guys, as it's Mother's Day, I am at my mum's, and by the way, I don't call it Mother's Day, I call it Alex Come To Do Jobs Day, because all I'm gonna be doing after this is going and doing a lot of jobs in there for my mother. Anyway, my mum has this entire garden for us to play with. So all guys I'm going to do is place both drones down here, reset both of their compasses, set them to 4K at 25 FPS, and get some footage. And I'll let you guys know the little annotation on screen down here that says, Mavic or Inspire. So guys, as you can see, I've got both of the drones here. Now I'm switching between the Inspire footage and the Spark footage. Now the Inspire footage is a lot flatter. For comparison, this is what the A7R looks like looking at me. Now the Inspire, now the Spark. The Inspire looks a lot flatter. The Spark has more color, which is brilliant for the Inspire, aiming more towards professionalism, where the Spark, you just want to get a, a quick shot. But I don't think there's, there's really that much of a difference between the two, comparing sizes of these two drones. 
The size of that versus the size of that. For the extra size and baggage and difficulty the Inspire One comes with, is it really worth it? The quality is a little bit better, but you really do have to ask yourself, is it worth it when the Spark is literally this small? Look, Inspire, Spark. By the way, that thing looks a lot like the Spark. I'm talking about the Air. If I say Spark, I mean Mavic Air. Is it really worth it? I don't think so. And I'm also noticing here, the Spire footage looks a little bit lopsided, whereas the, uh, the Mavic Air footage is uh, it's really straight. Now what I've gone ahead and done is switch the Mavic Air into its D-like profile. So now everything will be a lot flatter. Now compare the two together. That is the Inspire, and that is the Mavic Air. Is there really that much of a difference? Come on now. Bring the uh, Spark a little bit closer. As you can see, that's what that looks like a little bit closer. And now bring the Inspire a little bit closer. That's what the Inspire looks like a little bit closer. I can't really fault either drone, to be honest with you. And here's the fact for you guys that's really, really going to finish this off. The, uh, the Mavic Air is on 64% battery and the DJI Inspire 1 is on 34% battery and they took off at the same time, more than double the flight time on the Mavic Air. I, it's just not looking good, Mr. Inspire. And I'm, and I'm loving flying this little Air. It's so, so, so cute. I love it. Look at that footage from that, man. Look at Nottinghamshire in all its glory from the Mavic Air. Look at it go. It's all the way over there. <laughs> Okay, drone review done, chores done for mum. I don't really call it Mother's Day anymore because I just come around and, and do chores for you, don't I? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've had one Mother's Day today with your, with your flowers, with the, uh, with the... <laughs> I forgot to take the label off the flowers and the security tag. Look at this. Let me show them that. Guys, they didn't take the security tag off the bottle of, uh, off the bottle of Lanson that I got mum. So uh, I've had to smash it off. But it's what makes Mother's Day though, isn't it? It does. <laughs> I there you go. So if you if you want to win Mother's Day, leave the tag on because, well, you made you smile, didn't it? <laughs> Good. Turn off the lounge lights. You okay. okay. Yeah. The speakers on on the deck. You're loving it. You're okay. loving it. <laughs> turn on the LEDs. All right. Turning on the ceiling LEDs. Well, they still work. Brilliant. Set the desk monitor to red. Sure, changing the desk monitor to red. They still work. Guys, I really, really apologize. I forgot to leave the links to all of this kit in the description that we had in yesterday's vlog. These smart bulbs for this lamp and this lamp, and then the LED controller, which is right here, which I need to tidy away and put up there tomorrow. Yes, I apologize. I made a mistake. I forgot to put the links in the description, but guys, in this vlog, they are in the description. I promise go ahead and buy them but for now brilliant day i've really enjoyed it if you have a like rating would be wicked but for now i'll see you in tomorrow's vlog adios